I am playing the new toy, as you can see here. If you want to know what this is, stick around and I'll share with you what it is coming right up. Hey everybody, what's happening? Claudio Zavala Jr. here and welcome to a brand new video. If this is your first time here, first of all, thank you so much for checking it out. If you are a return guest, thank you for coming back. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this one I share every Tuesday, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the subscribe icon you see over here and then turning on the bell so you can be notified when a new video pops up. So this rig that I was sharing with you at the beginning, I'm calling FriendMaker 2.0. If you've not seen the original Friend Maker, I'll have a link in the description below as well as a link up here that you can check out. A couple of years ago, I created this rig I called the Friend Maker. I used it to walk around at conferences, do interviews with people, set it up on tables. I also did it to vlog. Since then, I've been kind of tweaking it, making modifications, things that work better for me, uh, things that I like more. So what I want to share with you are those modifications and changes that I've made. So what I've kept from the original Friend Maker is this part right here, which is the B-Script Pro, as well as this LED light by Peak Light. If you're not familiar with the B-Script Pro, what it allows me to do is use my mobile phone, in this case, my Samsung S10, and shoot video or photography and have some attachments like this wide angle lens and really kind of expands the creativity of what I can do with my mobile phone. So now let me share with you the new additions to the Friend Maker 2.0. First up is this, the SwitchPod tripod. I've had the SwitchPod for about a month and I have to say it has exceeded my expectations. A couple of reasons why I'm using the SwitchPod now for the Friend Maker 2.0. First off, it's easy to fold up. Look how much space it takes. And when I open it up like that, I can set it on a table and kind of film from afar off and be hands-free. And secondly, the way that it's angled, it works perfectly for taking selfies or recording vlogs. I went ahead and added my own ball head here. So what I'm going to do now is attach it to the B-Script Pro. There we go. Boom. The next addition is this, the Rode Wireless Go. So this is the wireless microphone setup that I'm using now for the FriendMaker 2.0. This setup comes with a transmitter and receiver. The microphone itself, you can clip it onto your shirt. With an addition of a lavalier, which I added myself, you can plug it into the microphone and have the lapel either clinged to your shirt or you can hide it underneath a jacket or somewhat position it so it's out of the way. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and place it onto my t-shirt. As you can see, I've attached the lapel microphone to my t-shirt here and then plugged it into the actual microphone. Now that this will be transmitting the audio to the receiver that I'll attach here to the B-Script here. So now I'll attach the receiver to the friend maker here and plug in the microphone into my phone. And voila, the whole thing is set up ready to go. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kinda head on out and do a little demo video. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and give you a quick demo of the FriendMaker 2.0. I'm out here in my front yard and uh, I turned on the LED because I'm standing underneath a tree right now. And the microphone works out just great. I heard some dogs barking. I don't hear them now, they're a little quiet, but because the wireless setup and it's a lapel, the audio should be nice. And then the switch pod, the way it's angled, I'm able to keep my arm kind of tucked into my body so I'm not having to uh, do this if I'm recording. Plus the angle looks kind of weird so I can keep it kind of close. Uh, as I walk and talk, if I want to, I can switch hands now, use that little shake there, and free this hand up. I can do some 360 shots like this and Kind of be creative with whatever way you want to vlog. And lastly, because of the switch pod, I can open up the legs if I wanted to, set it up on a car like that one there, finish up my vlog, or if I were at a park, put it on a table and sit down. Just opens up the possibilities of what you can do when you're recording video, whether you're vlogging or just kind of doing your own kind of stuff. So let's go ahead head back inside and finish up this tutorial. All right, so I'm back. Let me go ahead and put this out of the way. So as you can see, it's a great way to kind of head on out. If you're going to do interviews, 
if you're going to set it up on a table and record yourself, or if you're gonna do some type of vlogging if you're on vacation, perfect setup. It's very small, you can pack it up in your suitcase, put it in a small backpack, carry it with you, and then just take it out, hold it, record, and you're good to go. If you're interested in making your own FriendMaker 2.0, I'll have all the links and all the gear in the description below. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you want any more information about the FriendMaker 2.0 or you have your own version of it, please do share it in the comment section below. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up by clicking on that like button. And before you go, don't forget, subscribe to this channel by clicking on that icon you see over there and turning on notifications by clicking on that little bell. And as always, thank you for stopping by and checking out this channel. Be good to one another out there. Peace. I'm out of here.